Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. 100 years ago on this day, Commander Andranik got married. Works on asphalting and construction of an internal drinking water supply line are underway in the Artsakh village of Mokhratov. Chairman of the Accounts Chamber of Russian Federation, Alexei Kudrin, visited the genocide of Armenia's memorial. Carpets excavated during the war from Shushi Carpet Museum will be transferred to the Museum of History. The shape of Lake Van has partially changed. A Hajkar dedicated to the friendship of Armenian and Georgian peoples was consecrated in Tbilisi. An underground Iron Age structure has been discovered in Urfa. Armenian athletes become European champions by defeating Azerbaijan and Turkish athletes. Hundreds of years ago on this day, in the Cathedral Church of St. Hovannes, the wedding ceremony of the great commander Andranik Ozanyan took place by Vram Shapu Vartabert Kiparian. In the village of Mohratag in Martakert region, work is underway on asphalting and construction of an internal drinking water supply. The program is implemented at expense of the state budget of the Republic of Artsakh and the contracted company of LLC Caravan. At the moment, earthworks have been completed on all sections of the road and active asphalt works are underway, which depending on weather conditions should be completed by the end of this month. At a second stage, it is planned to asphalt the inter-village road. The process depends on the construction of an internal drinking water network in Mohratar and construction of new water supply lines. After the completion of construction work, asphalting work will be continued. A delegation headed by Chairman of Accounts Chamber of Russian Federation, Alexei Kudrin, who arrived in Armenia on a working visit, visited the genocide of Armenia's memorial on May 14, accompanied by Chairman of Audit Chamber of Republic of Armenia, Atom Jan Jugazian. This is reported by the official website of Genocide of Armenia's Museum Institute. The guests met and presented the history of the creation of memorial to the director of Genocide of Armenia's Museum Institute, Harutun Marutian. He also presented to the guests the history of three Hajkars installed on a church of Tsitsernaga Bert, which are dedicated to the memory of Armenians who died during ethnic cleansing on the territory of Azerbaijan at the end of the last century. The members of the delegation from Russia laid flowers on an eternal flame and honored the memory of the innocent victims of the genocide of Armenians with a minute of silence. At the end of the visit, Mr. Kudrin planted a silver fir tree in the memorial park. On the second floor of the Museum of the History of Yerevan, with an area of 450 square meter, will be provided with a hall for carpets excavated from the Shushi Carpet Museum during the 44-day war and move to Armenia. A few months ago, the former Minister of Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sport of Artsakh, Lusine Karakhanyan, said that they are looking for a worse place in Artsakh for carpets and that this issue will be solved soon. However, according to the founder of Shushi Carpet Museum, Vartan Astatrian, the government of Artsakh has shown an unconstructive approach. In recent years, in one province of Western Armenia, the level of Lake Van has noticeably decreased. Experts report that the water in the Lake Van has been declining for many years. Small water areas of Lake Van existed 50 years ago have dried up today, and the map of Lake Van has partially changed. According to Zem, although there was enough precipitation this year, nevertheless the water level of Lake Van has not significantly increased. In the 1970s, the area marks with water areas on the map have now completely turned into land. Comparing satellite images of the past and present, we see that underwater rocky areas have come ashore. This indicates that the shape of Lake Van has partially changed. On May 15th, a ceremony of consecration of the Khachkar, perimperating the centuries-old friendship of Armenian and Georgian peoples, took place in the Church of St. Edmiadzin in Tbilisi. This was reported on Facebook page of Diocese of Armenian Apostolic Church in Georgia, adding that the Khachkar was erected in the country of Armenian Church by the Tbilisi Armenian family Mkhitaryan. An underground structure belonging to Iron Age has been discovered in the Bashbuk province of Urfa, province of Western Armenia. It is believed that a hall where the wall painting with images of gods in Asrian style was discovered was used in the first millennium. The authenticity of four of the eight gods depicted in the painting could not be established. Other gods are depicted in Aramaic writing. Citizens demand that the discovered hall be opened as soon as possible for the visitors. 
Ashot Adamian presenting Armenia won a gold medal at the European Arm Wrestling Championship in Bucharest. The Armenian athlete defeated Azerbaijan Ismail Mustafaev in the final tournament in the 65 kg weight category, becoming the eighth European champion. In the 60 kg weight category, the victory also belongs to the Armenian national team. 17 year old Arman Martayan became a three time European champion, winning the third gold medal, this time having already been at the adult tournament. Martian defeated Orhan Uygun presenting Turkey in the final. We want to remind you that the European Arm Wrestling Championship, in which athletes from 27 countries take part, started on May 7th. Western Armenia congratulates the Armenian athletes and wishes them new victories. Now musical part Armenian folk song Slava Yegazarian, Handeri Lala Yaras. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.